homogeneous gate weighs 100 pounds. The depth into the page, perpendicular to the gate, is 3 pounds. Gamma for water is 62.4 pounds per foot cubed. And what we want to do is find the reactions at the two pins, A and B. B is a roller, A is an actual pin. The first step is always to draw your free body diagram. So given that A is a pin, I have two forces there, but no moments. I also have the 100 pound weight that acts in the middle of the beam. So this is 1.5 feet, and this is 1.5 feet. B is going to act perpendicular to the beam because it's a roller there. You've got a nice 30 degree angle for your beam, and you have the pressure from the water. Let's break that into two pieces. I have a weight down and a water pressure over. WY is going to be the weight of the water. In essence, what we have here is another triangular prism of water where the two feet is the depth of the water. You have a 30 degree angle here for your prism and you've got three feet going back along the wall uh, perpendicular to the page. The area of this triangle is one half base times height, one half two feet times that length right there is going to be 2 tan 30. That gives you 1.1547 feet squared. To find the weight of the water, you want to take the specific gravity times the volume. That gives you 62.4 pounds per foot cubed. That acts with a volume of 1.1547, that's the area of your triangle, and the depth into the page, 3 feet. Check your units, but that all works out and you end up with 216.16 pounds acting down. You also need to find out where this acts. If you think about this, this is the volume of the water in this box. But what we've got here is essentially a distributed load where at the right-hand edge over A, we have a long number, and at B, we have no weight at the water at all. So we can say that this is going to act at a third of the way horizontally from A. Well, a third of the way horizontally from A is 2 tan 30. So this is going to act at 2 tan 30, and it's a triangle, so it acts a third of the way from that big end over 3, which is 0 0.38490 left of A. Now we can do the horizontal part. The horizontal thing is the pressure of the water, which increases linearly as you go down. So here's my gate. Up at B, I have the pressure is equal to 0 at the top of the water. At A, I have the pressure is going to be equal to gamma times h, or gamma 2, it's 124.8 pounds per foot squared. Now we can, by the principle of transmissibility, slide each of those pressures until we get them to some sort of vertical line, which makes our distributed load look more like the triangle we're used to dealing with. It's two feet high, and the pressure at the bottom is 124.8. So the horizontal pressure from the water is one half, it's the area of that triangle. One half, 124.8 pounds per foot squared, times two feet, that's the area of your triangle, times the depth into the page, three feet. That's 374.40 pounds. This acts at two-thirds of the way up. Two times two-thirds is four-thirds. Two-thirds, excuse me, two-thirds up, north of A. So this is a third of two feet, which is two-thirds. Now I can write my equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in x equals zero gives me b cosine 30 minus w of x plus a of x equals zero. The sum of the forces in y is b sine, zero, sine 30 minus wy plus ay minus 100, don't forget the weight, equals zero. Now I need to do the sum of the moments. I'll take the sum of the moments at a. The nice thing about that is that b is already perpendicular to a, so the perpendicular distance for b has got to be 3. To find the perpendicular distance for the weight, we notice that this acts halfway up the beam, so that would be 1.5 feet. There's my 100 pounds. That's the weight. At 30 degrees, that gives me a moment arm of 1.5 sine 30. My weight the water, weight of the, uh, the pressure from the water acts at two-thirds up, and the weight of the water acts at 0 0.38490 to the left of A. Now, check your signs. B is going to go in one direction, and all of the rest of these are going in the opposite direction. The sum of the moments at A gives me 
one equation, and the only unknown I have is B, since I know what Wx and Wy are. I've solved for those already. I can plug that in, and I get B is 135.93 pounds, which I can then substitute back into the sum of the forces in the x direction to get Ax is 256.68 pounds, and plug into the Y to get 248.19 pounds. Go back and make sure you've answered the actual question. They're asking you for the reactions at A and B. The reaction at B is 136 pounds perpendicular to the board. And the weight, the reactions at A are 257 pounds to the right and 248 pounds up.